Okay, um, so this is a different Keyforge tournament. This is one run by uh, Swords and Boards in Derby. Um, it's a sealed event uh, that they're actually just do, doing using the sealed function on CCO. So I have uh, clearly no idea um, what I'm about to, to do. So uh, yeah, here we go versus uh, Faceometer. Yeah, just uh, doing the usual sort of the, po you know, pre-match good lucks and whatever. Um, not asking. Right, so let's actually have a look at what we've got. So, um, what have I got here? I've got, oh well, yeah, Brobna, brilliant. But at least we've got a Berserker Slam and a, and a Shattered Throne. So we've got some, uh, uh, some, some, some armor control there, and, and, and decent bodies as well on on the Brobna to actually use that Shattered Throne. Saurian, double axe move. Grisk is nice attributes. He says interest. Sorry, Jarter, Jarter, Shrix. Okay, so they're all quite nice things. Um, not re I'm not really seeing any way to protect the Shrix though. Never mind. Uh, Star lines, double zap, double layer of the land. Uh, uh, fairly, fairly mediocre on the Star Alliance there, I'm afraid. Um, do I want to keep that double Grisks? No, 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 we don't. Um, Wow, that's no better. I mean, they're they dish logos untamed. Um, they're nice. They got dish. Would have been better if they'd have had Brobnar, but I, I don't particularly rate dish in in Worlds Collide. Oh, they've got an Obsidian Forge. Um. Well, this is all rubbish. Uh, let's play the Kinko now. Uh, and we'll give him the blaster, but we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to archive anything. So they've got a forge. So we've got to be careful that we don't let their board get too big. Otherwise, that's a, a nice, easy key off them. Usually, used done as the third. Um, I don't have any means of controlling artifacts, so it's going to sit there now. Of course, some people often forget it's also a nice way to blow up things like, um, you know, dust imps or anything else, or you know, the imps back. Anything that has a destroy effect. But yeah, it's, uh, it was nice they played it because having played the Kinker now, if they name anything other than Dis, if they name their Untamed or their Logos, we're going to you know, steal one of their Amber. And if they don't, well, I'm probably going to be playing, you know, I could go into playing Saurian, which will then steal one as well. So they went dish anyway. Played out a Dendrix. Good 
there anything else other than Dendrix in this? No. Um, let's think, how can we deal with this? Uh, I think we're just going to crush it with Saurian. So, we go Saurian, steal one. Or well then, sorry about that, to kill it. Play out Legatus Raptor. Um, do I want a city state interest? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Um, I've got option to steal that one if I need to. So let's just end the turn there. Brobnar's looking nice for once. Uh, obviously, because you, if I went Brobnar, um, I would steal one. Uh, I could then Berserker Slam whatever creature he plays to to get an amber and destroy that, uh, and then Tremor anything that's left was that that's left. Uh, and then it means, of course, I still don't have any Brobnar on the table, so we would steal once again. No, oh, well, they they haven't. Uh, there's nothing left to steal unless they they play some amber. But yeah, so so Brobnar's not looking too bad provided King can lives. E die. That can get slammed. <laughs> or you know maybe not. If I don't if I don't play any am anything with amber, then I might hold the berserker slams and tremor. Fetch drones, okay. And that's annoying because now the you sort of discs and the fetch drones. Um, uh, there's two artifacts on their side of the table that I can't do anything about, so it's going to turn King Can off effectively for those houses for the rest of the game. They didn't draw any amber either, um, so I'm very much left here go thinking, well. Which house do I want to go? None of them seem great, I must admit. Um, so... I think the only thing that gets a, you know, a card out of my hand is... is uh, going star lines with Commander Chan. Um, and I don't want to play the COD recorder yet either. So I'd go well, I'd go Commander Chan, um, Reap with the Kinkin and that'd be it. It's not a spectacular turn. But yeah, I, I think it's the best at this point. So let's go Star Alliance. We will Reap with Kinkins. We will, yes, we will trigger the, the blaster. We'll shoot Edai. Play out Commander Chan um, to the right, and just in case he's got think tanks. Um, leave it at that. Yeah, yes, I want to end my turn. And um, the reason for, for not playing the quadricorder is um, I preferred place to play on one of their creatures that uh, they don't. Yeah, you know, that, that I'm not too bothered by that they. Also can't easily kill, they want to keep around. So Edo would normally be a good call, but I'm gonna kill Edo. <laughs> um, uh, I'm very wary about putting quadricorders on your own creatures cause they then just paint a massive target. Okay, we've got a mole thing. Bramble links. Oh, one of Flaxia. There we go. We've got two off the Flaxia. Cool. That actually gives me something to steal now. Got to be careful though. Um, 
because you know everything will take a point of damage if I do steal. So let's think about this. We could um, Berserker Slam steal one, put a point of damage on both King Kun and Chan, tremor the others. We would not be on key even with a steal because Edai is alive. Uh, alternatively, we could put the quarter quarter on the Bramble Links because he's got skirmish, so he's not going to die when he attacks in. Um, use the Commander Chan, Reaper Commander Chan to use the Legatus Raptor to use the Legatus Raptor to kill probably do we want to kill the Morphin? Yeah, I think we'd kill the Morphin. It'd lose we'd lose the Raptor but I, but I can live with that. Um And then Reap with King Ken to shoot Edai. Is that the plan? Is that the plan? What could we do if we went Saurian? Uh, Axiom doesn't seem great because it would kill two of mine at least. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going, we're going with the Star Alliance turn, I think. Let's go with that play. So... We could double shoot. If we double shoot King Can into the Molfin by using the Raptor to take out Edai, then that works. So we will reap the King Can. Enemy actions, yes. Shoot the Molfin. Reap with Chan. Use the Raptor to fight. Kill Edai. Trigger the Exalt. Ready King Can. Reap with King Khan, trigger the blaster, shoot the Molfin. Oh yeah, and play the quadricopter on the Bramble Links. End turn. So we might get lucky, and King can might live, in which case the Brobnar turn looks acceptable. Um, kill Flaxy with the Berserker Slam, Tremor any resilient creatures. Um, alternatively, if they go untamed, we may see the, the King can brought down by uh, the Flaxy and Bramble links together. But if they do that, they can't use the Fetch Drones to take a soft key. Oh yes, they have gone Logos. They will be trying to take us off key with the fetch drones, probably. I don't think there's anything else other than information exchange that would take us off in Logos. Okay, looks like Flax here gets to live. Ah, Hapsis. That's frustrating. Um, unless they play something else, my wonderful Brobnar turn isn't going to kill a creature. My king can. Um, Rob not looking as good. Might go Saurian. Um, can capture, you know, three of theirs. And then uh, blow up the board 
but what the Bramble links so it lives. Okay, so what is it? They get to two if for each Logos card discarded, which is both of them, a friendly creature captures two. Well, well that's annoying. That might mess with the uh, with the Grisk plan. Yes, well, I want to kill those two. How am I going to do that? And the risk is only going to kill the hapsis, which is disappointing. But I need to get the hapsis dead if I'm going to start using the berserker slam on the lesser creatures. Yeah, disappointing. So. It's not even going to put us on check. So we'll play out the raptor. Play out a city state interest. Just wait. What have we got? Hmm. Shattered throne. Berserker slam would at least get me to key. Even if nothing else comes down to be uh, destroyed with the berserker slam. So they're wearing untamed. Okay. It's gonna take out the raptor? Yeah, yeah, take out the raptor. Flax your trade with Chan, maybe? Gives me two, gives them one back. Of course, I've so, yeah, I've just realised with the walls, I'm free to uh, berserker slam the links now because I just get the quadricopter with it when I play the walls. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, is that going to be a regrow for the mole thing? Or are we going to get one of the other factions back? Yeah, it's Molten. Well, that's my Berserker sound target. And like, oh, those pixies. Stolen or captured from your pool is taken from the common supply instead. Well, that can die. Oh, no, it can't. We can put a home packer next to it. Blimey. Just getting just a lot of untamed. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we've still we've still got to go Brom. Otherwise, we're just going to get reaped to death with those uh, untamed. Um, it's a shame that it's, uh, you know we can't get any amber from the berserker slam off the, the, the ones that have captured. But never mind. Let's go Brobnar. Berserker slam. Kill that Pampaka. Shattered throne. It's possibly going to work against us, but never mind. Um, play this action. I think we. <laughs> All right, where are we going to tremor? Um, let's make sure we catch the bramble links with it. And so, another action of Grisk, which is nice. I'll hopefully uh, tidy up some of my problems. Um. I mean, in theory, it's not that hard to take me off. Oh, it is actually because I can't attack with either of those two. Well, well, well thought that in me and head. So yeah, fetch drones will take me off key. Um, but that's about it. You're probably not going to go untamed to take me off key because there's very not that much in untamed. So that bramble links is going to say stunned on the end of the quadricopter. Um, This okay. I mean, you could you could use the Obsidian Forge to kill the Lynx in Forge with that by killing another creature, or is it? Uh, oh, it's plus six cost, so one, two, three, four, five, nine. No, no, you couldn't. Um, you could just kill it to get rid of the Quadrocopter if you're that bothered by it. Anyway, I'm hoping there's going to be a you know a slew of creatures that all get put down. They're just going to get blown up by Grisk. No, oh, something's going to get shot for two. The Bramble Links, yeah. But, oh, he's going to is he going to festering touch his own Bramble Links? Is he that fed up by it? Tony the Chained. So what is this? I can never remember this exactly. It says return each co return each copy of Ortano's binding from your hand. For each one return this way, deal two to a creature with two splash. Okay, yeah. We need to kill that, so we're gonna go Saurian. Yellow key. Go Saurian. Um. Yeah, we 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 gr we'll grisk. Yeah, so we grisk. Ward the raptor. And we need to take them off just this one turn. So we fight with the Warded Raptor into Flax here, uh, which will capture one. Um, 
exalt it, get another use out of Chan, get use out of reap out of Chan, yeah, exalt it, reap with Chan. Uh, play out a couple of Jarters. Past turn. Cool. Uh, we kept them off key, and it also uh, gives us the opportunity, if we need to, to bring it, uh, bring the bring the quadra quarter back with walls. Um, but we may not have to because we might be able to go pterodactyl tribute and then reap with jarters. Those of you who are watching um, my various adventures with F. Duratile in uh, the coat uh, tunnel will know just how brutal <laughs> reaping your way to victories with jarter can be. So they've gone untamed. Unsuspecting prey. Uh, that's the free undamaged take two. Yeah, free undamaged take two. Pings off the armor on the Legatus Raptor. Two Jarters nearly dead. Um, there's Mermook. And a Druid. So they're on check because of the um, Mermook at the moment. Yeah, so I think we go with the Saurian route again. Um, and I think first things first, get out the uh, Pterodactyl. And then we can tribute onto it. Uh, I mean, cause it's, it's a bit of a way with this. They might have a way to, um, you know, absolutely wreck it. Uh, with, you know, just a, you know, a, a kill card. We're now going to think about what we're going to do with these. We want to get another, at least another two amber, to tip us over off it. So that's at least one yard jarter. Um, but then what we could do is we could fight jarter into the Mook to take away its. Uh, elusive and get and put a amber on the jarter, then kill it with the Legatus Raptor, which won't quite kill my Raptor, and then I guess we exalt the Raptor to get another use out of a jarter. Yeah, sure, that's a plan. So uh, we will. Doesn't really matter which one we'll. Fight with this creature into the Mermook. We reap with that creature, which we will exalt. We fight with that creature to kill the Mermook. Yes, we'll exalt. Um, and we will use that charter to. Reap, and we'll trigger it. I mean, he's used a cut for a research. I suppose he could have another. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of amber on my creatures now. Um, something like a, you know, one of the disc board clears would be um, inconvenient. Let's go with inconvenient. Um, we shall have to see. We've still got the walls quadricopter um, combo in hand. Um, 
but I think at the moment we're going to go soaring unless something significantly changes our forward state. Uh, there's yeah, there's Shrieks and Hisario out of hand. Not sure where my Robna are. I mean, I mean, obviously the answer is in the deck, but there's hardly any have come out. So we're going this, take an archive. Okay. Thieves Bane. Yeah, I don't have any thieves. I don't think there's any thieves in Star Alliance, Torian or Bremner. Beast's Bane. Oh, well, that's going to blow up the Pterodactyl. So, <laughs> yeah, unless anything further is destroyed. Ooh, Harbinger. Ooh, that's going to come along eventually and uh, be annoying. Um, see, that's interesting. Um, I was contemplating going quadricopter, but... If we've got a Harbinger, whatever I quadru put the Quadricopter on is just going to die. So we might just go Saurian again. Um, reap for a load of Amber. Um, and probably have Key. So let's go Blue. Um... I'm going to give him a, an absolute ton of amber, but he doesn't really have shadow. Uh, so I can't see how he's going to get going to get all the way through his keys faster than I'm going to get mine. Um, there's no good targets for the raptor, so we just reap, reap. Yes, we'll trigger it. Reap. Yes, we'll trigger it. Send it to Shrix. Play this creature left. No, we're not going to exalt it because that's just giving Amber. We, we're never going to get back. Orator Hisario. Play this creature. Deploy to the left of that one. Reap. Go again. Reap. Go again. 11. Cool. Gamble. I mean, there's a ton of amber on the table now for when he, um, for when he, if he sacks off the harbinger, but he's got to get through three keys when I'm on eleven on my last. Uh, and obviously we're not shadows, so there's no nothing like my asthma or TMTP. Um, I guess forge a key. Uh, did did effervescent principle make it through? It still wouldn't eat that on its own, wouldn't take me off. You'd have to fetch drones as well as effervescent. Oh, they've disconnected. Really, I mean, it's, uh, the Crucible sometimes is just so shonky. Uh, can you finish a game? Yeah, without someone disconnecting. I can see why people are moving over to a knowledge as power server. If a knowledge and power server is more stable.
Okay, I'll give him a give him a ping on Discord. Um, Discord. We criminal Alice Litley. I, mean, I don't even I, I don't even know what that is. Mine's some some sorry, I don't speak uh, Chinese and that's something in uh pictograms on a, So I'm trying to trying to recover these two decks would be interesting. I'd have to trawl through the uh decks of Keyforge. I hope he comes back soon. Just had a Discord ping. Go see what that was. The browser crashed, apparently. Okay. And there we go, he's back. We off we go. Crucial moment, okay. So, is this crucial moment a way out of... Uh, my third key. Logos. I, I mean, fetch drones. Takes me down to nine. Maybe seven. Nine down to seven. And then you need to take another two off me somehow. Tattile vapors. Digging. Digging. I mean, I suppose if you were dishonest, you could go and look up Criminal Alice Litlai right now. You hadn't thought of that. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's that's against the whole spirit of a sealed tournament. Oh, well, I suppose he could E-Die. Could he massively E-Die his way out of this? I mean, it's possible, isn't it, if you think about it? Uh, he's tau tau one in. If he had double E-Die at this point, that puts me on 12. Yeah, double Edo would get it, would would knock me off. There's one Edo. Okay. So currently my cost is eight. <laughs> I mean, fed drones as well. If he hits with both fetch drones. <sighs> yeah. Maybe I was a bit overconfident. I mean, 11 sounds like a good number, doesn't it? But, yeah, he's blown up my jarter, so he's, he's going to have enough for his own key unless I do something. Uh, I mean, I've got a quadricopter, which is, quadricorder, sorry. Fetch drones. Well, nothing there. Are we going to see the, the the third e die in the deck? Is there another e die that's going to now ping me? Yeah, say. So. Oh, you.
There we go. So that was the first of these ones. Well, there's going to be a few of these. Right, there's going to be some more. Uh, I don't know how many of these we're going to do, but uh, there'll be a different sealed deck each time. <laughs> 